There is a hero match Suda now, and look at this tremendous bridge by Bob Orton Jr., second generation wrestler, and a good move by Matt Suda again. And Don, uh, here are two obviously superiorly trained athletes. Yeah, they're in tremendous condition, they're very powerful backs, and of course the bridging and souplés and modern wrestling uh, calls for that kind of uh, subtlety. And there you see uh, Matt Suda, that foot outside the ropes. Uh, Orton had him in a uh, predicament there, no question about it. In fact, Orton thought he had the pin, but he did not. It was only a count of two. Matt Suda, uh, I might say, did not deliberately throw that foot out either. It was just the angle of attack. Now Matt Suda with a good leg dive, and uh, thus far, uh, some great scientific wrestling. Certainly is, of course, uh, with a great background that uh, Bob Orton ha has gained from his father. He's seen an awful lot of his moves, very much like, in fact, the leg dives and leg pickups and so forth that he uses. Uh, you can practically see his father's moves in it. And then watch, uh, watch him wrestle, you just see that uh, echoes that training. Well, Bob Orton Jr., of course, a three-time state AAU champion, and the odd thing about it, three times in three different states. <laughs> right, every place he went, he was feared. You saw that sweep in there when he went in after that leg. That was just a beautiful takedown. Very quick, and of course, here, realizing he's going to get into some trouble, look at the way he fights out of that one. He was in that standing guillotine, and Matsuda went through those ropes back into the ring in a forearm smash that rocks Matsuda this time. Matt Suda, who once defeated Danny Hodge for the Junior Heavyweight Championship of the World, and uh, now having his problems here with Bob Orton Jr. Of course, he has some problems, but there again, notice the tremendous power and the drive that he's got when he hits him with those elbows, very effective. And that's, uh, that's another sign of that Orton training. Matt Suda opening up a little bit, some uh, oriental tactics here that drops uh, Bob Orton Jr. Matt Suda whipping him into the ropes, and a good move by Orton. Again, another one of those who plays going becoming so popular, so effective. And of course, uh, one of the masters of this sort of, of technique was Matsuda, and he's robbed against his own weapon. Speared into a backflip, and Matsuda now and again, a big elbow across the throat of hero Matsuda. And this would, uh, well, this would probably spell the end for the average competitor, but Matsuda uh, can take a tremendous amount of punishment. He has a very high threshold for pain. Again, Orton trying for a uh, pinning combination here, and again, a full body slam crashing down on top of Hiro Matsuda, but Matsuda continues to fight his way out, and this is where stamina and perseverance uh, pays off, Don. And an awful lot of training. You know, he's just a thousand squats, and he's got that sleeper hold, and, and that's good. <laughs> this is a powerful thing in the hands of this Japanese style of wrestling. Well, of course, that's where the sleeper hold originated, and Don, you certainly were an expert in that field uh, when you were wrestling. Well, it was the Japanese that taught me how to apply it, and I have been knocked out with it, and it's a... Uh, Tremendous sensation, and to be able to fight like Orton's fighting is remarkable. Well, as I said earlier, of course, two superiorly trained athletes, uh, both of them in great condition. And uh, excellent move, hooks him inside, and it rolls him up into an inside cradle. Has that count of three, has the count of three, and Bob Orton Jr. Uh, has been pinned in the winner of this match, the former junior heavyweight champion of the world, Hiro Matsuda.